What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about cross play in the Elder Scrolls Online. And this is something that the community has mentioned many times for several years now since cross platform games have become a pretty popular thing within a lot of other titles. And a few months back in February, the studio director exhausted an interview that I will link down in the description if you would like to watch. It does start off in French, but all the answers that he gives are, you know, are in English. So you have a way to watch that, you know, whether you're French or English. But if you'd like to get to the English speaking part, you may have to, you know, go past a little bit of the, of the start of the interview. But he was asked tons of different things. This was a long interview. It was like 20 or 30 minutes long. Tons of different stuff about, you know, tons of different things about the Elder Scrolls Online going forward. And I'm going to break this down into several different videos. I started to do one big video about it all, but I don't want to bore you guys for 20 minutes <laughs> about everything. So today's kind of topic that came from that interview was cross-platform, cross-play in the Elder Scrolls Online. And he gave a pretty short and quick answer, not too much detail, but he said the game was not designed to be cross-play. It was not designed to be cross-platform. He said it's something that could definitely be done, but they were not promising anything. And now we all know games nowadays seem to be cross-platform. Everybody likes that. Everybody likes to be able to play with their friends no matter what they're playing on, whether it be on console, whether it be on Stadia, whether it be on PC. A lot of games nowadays allow you to play with all of those different players. The issue with the Elder Scrolls Online, I think, well, there's a lot of different things that could go wrong here. Of course, we all know how the servers act anyway right now, whether you're on console or PC or Stadia. Combining all those players onto one EU and one NA server could be an issue. I think the servers would definitely have to be upgraded or there have to be more servers added somehow. Another issue I see with this, and I think this is probably one of the bigger ones, considering they say it can be done. So it shows me that the ability to do it is there. Even though the game has been out for eight years on PC and seven on console, the ability to make the game cross-platform is there. But there's a lot of things you have to consider besides just servers. And one of the biggest things, in my opinion, would be the economy. Uh, you have several different guilds, and of course, between all the platforms, there's tons of guilds. Well, now you would have everyone on you know, a server bidding on those same guild traders. So you take guild traders, for example, now not only are the people on that one platform bidding on those areas, there will be people bidding on those from other platforms as well. Also, the economy would be a big difference. Um, you look at the price of items on console compared to PC, the price of what people sell crowns for gold for on console compared to PC. There's a lot of difference, uh, differences in the economy in general between all the different platforms that ESO was played on. So I think overall, uh, Zoss is definitely going to have to look into all of that if they ever did consider making the game crossplay, And that's why I think he kind of went on and said, you know, it's nothing that they plan on doing uh, right now. Not that it couldn't be done, but they're not promising anything. And I would have thought really by now, considering the game has been out for such a long period of time, they would have gone ahead and made this game crossplay when crossplay started to be, you know, first become kind of a thing here. Uh, on you know with all the new games and not all games are brand new that did cross play but most games are not seven or eight years old that are doing cross play so i would have really thought that if they were going to really consider this someone within uh, zasa's development community or you know the developers or the community directors or something like that would have kind of come out and said we we're really considering it but we're not sure yet but usually the answer you always get from them is no and that's kind of the answer he gave as well it wasn't designed to be that way not that it couldn't be we're not going to promise anything going forward so leave me a comment with your thoughts. Would you like to see the game be a cross-platform game or do you kind of have the same concerns that I do considering the servers and economy and all that kind of stuff would have to be a big adjustment to make all that work correctly. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.